This is my first morning with Joe's and the family. And so many of you are, are familiar with their uh, YouTube channel, Montana Haven. If you aren't, you should subscribe. Tell us, is yeah, it, subscribe. Uh, is it the Alaska edition or? That's Montana Haven, Alaska edition. So. It's because we're in Alaska right now. We started in Montana and right now we're in Alaska. So subscribe to Montana Haven, Alaska edition. Okay, so uh, quickly we're gonna go start with, with my brother, Joe's. So I'm Joe's, this is my wife. Priscilla. Avalon. Chloe. Ethan. Justin. What? Aren't his glasses cute? So, uh, I want to get this video while we before we start eating the breakfast that Priscilla made. And so we have, we have scrambled eggs, right? Mm -hmm. and it's just normal American stuff. But over there, that uh, sausage is grizzly bear and moose combination with a little deer. It's Sitka blacktail deer. It's a three three meats mixed together. Mm -hmm. Sitka blacktail deer, uh, grizzly bear, and moose. And, and moose. And now it's all legal. It's all legal <laughs> stuff that they shot. And I've never eaten grizzly bear. So this is my first day in the house. And we're going to go exploring today in, in this uh, amazing state of Alaska. Hey, about those cones, scones. Yummy. Those are sourdough scones. Oh. Sourdough scones with blueberries? Uh, no, chocolate chips. <laughs> okay. That's not Alaskan. So we had planned to stop at a Chevrolet dealer uh, because our diff fluid, we filled it this morning. We thawed, made some hot fluid, got it in there, warmed it up, and it was stuck on empty. So it was going to shut me down. And now, after driving about 20 minutes, it, uh, it the tank is it thawed, tanks uh, full, truck's good to go. So it was that nice. cold weather yep. is what had frozen my tank. Yeah, it was 20 below, and now it's two below, so it warmed up just yep. enough. So I think we're good to go. Chevy's got a lot of power because I've been doing reviews as we as I drive on this truck a little bit, along with log home reviews. Uh, so a little bit of what we're doing today, Joe and I are having some time together. We're driving up to uh, all the way down to Whittaker on the water. I've always been interested or for a while, uh, not always, because I heard about it a few years ago, Whittier, where it, there's a tunnel through the mountain to get to the town. So we're going to go see that today and then probably here tomorrow and then leave for home. But yeah, here we go. We're going to see the scenery and get a little tour, get some lunch. Just going to see part of the Kenai Peninsula. Right, we're getting, getting, getting. Uh, we're going to be just at the top end of it, so cut we're not going to, yeah, going to go quite, yeah, quite, yeah, quite, quite get to it, but be kind of where it starts. house here he lives next to the church here in uh, near Anchorage and uh, a true Alaska outdoorsman uh, so it's good to meet you tell us uh, what you do and you do carving you uh, yeah. just tell us you know, way back I in just the... biding my time carving wood and uh, so that trying to trying to put together my thoughts and what I'm seeing so I build these carved in these oh, three-dimensional yeah. carvings of well, this ram and and the name of this carving is uh, slipped out the back <laughs> which means a lot with a ram because if they the big ones always slip out the back you never see them so this is his escape and uh he's uh, about a 12 year old ram and i'm gonna put in a, a moon up here out of possibly glass or acrylic it's gonna have a light behind it that'll shadow cast everything but wow. this piece this is a piece of apple wood and and i carved him out drew him out his legs are a little bit too long but He's standing on a cliff coming through a pass that only he knew about, you know. But anyways, that's one of the carvings. I do those other ones up there. That's the first one I did, which was a yes. caribou. A caribou? Yeah. Is Just a big old bull caribou standing up there. And I kind of did it with a picture frame, you know, effect. And uh, that was the first one. And then that was the second one right there, the bear. And uh, this one is, I heard you. And uh, he heard the wolf howl behind him so he had to turn around while he's stepping on the tree roots going up through a rock pass and clouds up above and that one was the third one i carved over there and you didn't see this one yet let me show you this one this one i was trying to learn dimension and i didn't get enough of it but the name of this one's kind of wild all of this is actually copper that's actually silver and gold leaf in the cabin and there's gold flakes all in the 
in the creek. So I named this Copper Moon Cave Cabin at Crooked Spruce Creek in Peace Hills. <laughs> I like it. Just a fun thing to do. It, you know, it occupies my time in the winter so that I can enjoy, you know, doing what I like working with wood. So it's a fun thing for me. Awesome. We're in Anchorage, Alaska at Cabela's uh, in Montana. I was trying to find myself a new Carhartt coat. I couldn't find one that fit me. So we're going to try this. And, uh, oh, this is a big one. The one at home is smaller that we have. I guess everything in Alaska is bigger. I changed outfits. Got this coat and new hat. So uh, it feels warm, and I like it. So... This is Cabela's, actually uh, Bass Pro, which is buying out Cabela's. Let's have a look at these animals around this store. It's beautiful. This boy's huge. Probably one of the best wildlife displays I've seen. especially in a store. Wow, it's incredible. I had to stop and get video. Check this out. This is incredible. getting ready to go through the tunnel that goes to Whittier, Alaska. And uh, Joyce is looking at the map of Whittier. We're going to yeah. tour the town. What is the town and what else? Just It's just basically a little town. It's like hardly any residents live there. It's hardly a town, but it's it's a place where uh, there's cruise ships come and it's a place to access the, the Prince William Sound. So it's basically a bunch of little shops. It's kind of a neat little place. We need coffee. Yeah, that's what I need, I'm tired. So yeah. yeah, this tunnel I think is two, it's either two or two and a half miles, I forget but it's drilled directly through the mountain. If you're the first one through, you can actually start on one end, and unfortunately we're the second car, but you can see a pinpoint light on the other end, and you drive and drive and drive. About 15 minutes later, it, the, it starts getting bigger and bigger. You just drive all the way through, and it's just completely straight, straight as narrow. It's, it's kind of neat. You drill it right through during World War II, I think. Yeah, so we're, we're coffee addicts. It's the one addiction we have, and we don't uh, make any apologies for it. It's a necessary addiction, so I can't wait to have my coffee. Yeah, they got a couple little coffee shops out there. I even brought a bunch of Montana coffee traders along from our store for Joe's and Priscilla. Oh, yeah, it's the best. That's the best coffee, but uh, 
Yeah, we'll get a little caffeine, wake us up. Yeah, look, I will show you this mountain right here. They, they used to take mule trains through, uh, like around where? the outside, through through by the glacier over here. But now, obviously, it's just straight through the mountain. But yeah, it's just, there was no other way to get through here. Wow, how would it, yeah, mule trains, uh, uh, like over take, the pass. Yeah, over the pass, you have to take mule trains over the pass on the other side. My. There's like a little trail probably, huh? Yeah. Like a single file. I've actually hiked up part way up the trail. So you can still hike that trail? Yeah, it, it actually goes down to the lake. It branches off, but we've hiked over to the Portage Lake over here. And the glacier, this, some glaciers in Alaska are actually growing. This one's, this one's receding. Some are growing and some are receding. But this one used to be all the way back like 30 years ago. The whole lake was covered. Now it's all the way at that end of the lake. And it just keeps receding. But we hiked over to the lake last year. It's pretty neat. I gave him some uh, some nuts. Let's get some more nuts here. They're opening the tunnel gate. Through, so is Whittier right here? No, Joe's? it's about a mile. About a mile, okay. This is uh, the town of Whittier. So the trains come in here. Well, first the barges come in here from Seattle. Then they unload things onto these trains and take. Something went wrong. Uh, the iPhone's talking to me. Um, they take the barges, uh, unload the barges on the trains, and go through this this uh, tunnel ahead of us to Anchorage with the train. That's how Alaska gets its uh, supplies with this train. This building over here, we're gonna go check it out. Let's keep going so we get. I want to just, I wanna just show them that that building over there, uh, that big building, is the uh, where the town of Whittier lives in that pink, blue, and white building. We'll go check that out too, but first we need coffee. Where do you think there's coffee? Well, let's see, let's keep going here. We need fish and chips and coffee is what we need. The whole town of Whittier lives in that building. There's a school behind it. And then there's uh, this tremendous view. We're going down here to try to get some fish and chips or coffee or something. We're going up here and checking this old army barracks out. I hope we can actually wander through it, but probably not. Let's check it out. It's pure ice. See if the Chevy can make it. So this is abandoned. And what, the Army had a base here in World War II? Yeah, I think so. All concrete, look at that. <clears throat> I guess we're not going inside. We'll just look from the outside. This is Whittier, Alaska, where the ferries come in, or the barges come in right down there in that water, unload here going on the train, then they put everything on the trains and take everything to Anchorage about 50, 60 miles that way through the tunnel and into uh, Anchorage with the train. We're heading out of the tunnel back to, through Anchorage up to Wasilla. So we'll get a little footage of coming out of here. It's gonna be a nice drive going back to Joe's house. We didn't find coffee there at Whittier Everything's closed for the season. Ate a little bit of lunch and then heading back. So it's uh, it's uh, three in the afternoon and sun's going down. And... Yep. So which way are we heading, Joe? Is it, is it to the right here? No, no, straight, straight, straight ahead. Out of way, yep. We're looking straight ahead through that valley to my left is where we're going out of here. This is Whittier Glacier back there. Uh, 40 years ago, this whole lake was covered by that glacier, and uh, that's quite a sight. Out here we got people uh, ice skating, hockey. There's somebody out there skating with their dog out there. I've never seen anything like this lakes like this with ice and way out there people are ice skating
we're getting ready to eat supper for the second time here at Joseph's house. It's salmon again. And what's this soup, Priscilla? That's like a chicken and rice soup. Chicken and rice. Is that like a bowl? Like a, uh, what's in there? In the bread? Uh, sourdough bread. This is sourdough bread. No, it's sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. Sourdough bread. Okay, it looks like a lid on it. Thought maybe it's like a bowl. <laughs> salmon and noodle. I mean, uh, chicken rice and mm -hmm. sourdough. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's uh, so great to be with the family and uh, enjoy this. We're very blessed with all this food. So this is a true Alaska meal, that salmon. <laughs> and you caught it yourself, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. this is sober salmon. Oh, oh this, this is off of the ocean. We caught this on yeah. line reel in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I can't wait. First, first one. Shall we gather at the rain? singing and they're playing it back over the speakers. 